like it was when Ryan was going after strikeout number 5,000 against the A's last year. And that lot finally fell to Ricky Henderson. Ricky won't be uh, bothered by being the last out in this one. He did that not the way it figures. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Lanford chased the breaking ball, and he struck out victim number 13. That's four in succession for Ryan. Think he's got to fit the cheap down. <laughs> He has walked and struck out. He's been one of the two base runners against Ryan. Weiss walked in the third. Gallego walked in the sixth. Weiss batting left-handed with two out in the eighth. Fastball strike. Going one. Well, the fans think they may be sitting in on history here tonight. And Ryan works in the eighth with two out. Swing and a miss. Not throwing hard, huh? <laughs> well, maybe he wasn't the first six yeah. innings, but now he's geared up. <laughs> he was saving it. I bet that was about 96, 97 miles an hour, that fastball. Is that remarkable at his age? Yeah. And he's thrown now probably about 115, uh, 10, 100 and, uh, 15 exactly. 115 pitches, and he can run back and throw on that hard. 15 hits. The 0 2 pitch. Swing and a pop up. Foul playable for Bouchel. He makes the catch, and Ryan has gone through eight no hit innings. And everyone, of course, will remember back to that date earlier this year when young Brian Holman of the Seattle Mariners. Came to the two-out situation in the ninth inning with a perfect game, and Ken Phelps came up as a pitch hitter that hit the first pitch over the wall in right center field to spoil the no-hitter, the perfect game, and the shutout. After that, we'll go to the top of the order for Ricky Henderson and then Willie Randolph. Ryan's five no-hitters have been thrown four as a member of the California Angels and one as a Houston Astro, the last one in Houston against the Dodgers came in September of 1981. And that broke the tie with Sandy Koufax for the most number of no-hitters in a career. Well, here we go, and everybody's standing. Phelps reaches down, gets a little bit of dirt in the gloved right hand. Wears only one glove. The left hand is bare. Big number 44 steps in. Ryan toes the rubber. First pitch. Strike one. Knee high fastball. 13 strikeouts tonight. Two walks. Deliberate, a little bit of dirt on the glove again, back into the batter's box. Ryan waits patiently. Kicks, deals, swing and a foul. Fouled off the catcher, and the count now is no balls and two strikes. Interesting that Phelps had said that he was not a high ball fastball That's hitter. Right. And Ryan just threw that fastball up high to him that time. And I would imagine that Ryan probably knows that too and then he may throw another one up there and it's a tough one to catch up to even if you are a, a decent high ball hitter here's the line 0 and 2 that's low and away for a ball and the count one and two it popped out of russell's mitt the outfield straight away for phelps infield playing straight up all the way around Randolph had a deep fly ball out to left center back in the fourth. Ricky Henderson hit a line drive to center in the sixth that Pettis caught. And Jamie Quirk hit line one to center in the third. Best hit balls tonight. The pitch. He struck him out. Swinging and missing down low. So Phelps will not be the spoiler twice this year. Up to now, anyway. Ball really had some sink on it. That's 
number 14. Ricky Henderson now coming to the play. He hit that hard line of the center in the sixth inning. Other than that, he popped up and struck out. Every man in the starting lineup except Gallego struck out. He was 0 for 1 with a walk tonight. Here's Ricky. Here's Ryan's pitch. Strike one. Running the needle. Outside corner. Fastball at the knees. One out. The A's do not have a hit. We're in the bottom of the ninth. Five nothing Rangers. Swung on and foul back. Another fastball and the count now is 0 and 2. Ricky that time with a pitch probably as good as he's had all night to hit. And he was able only to foul it back. Two strikes the count. Randolph in the on-deck circle. Three-year-old Nolan Ryan into the motion. Pitch on the way. Swung on, lifted high in the air, fouled on the right field line. Digging hard, Sierra. Digging hard, Palmero. Can't quite get it. Palmero went barreling down across the bullpen mound and almost hammered into the wall. He managed to slow down enough to do no damage to himself as he came up about a foot and a half short, chasing all the way down to the bullpen. Strikes to Henderson. Reminiscent of Ricky and Ryan in Texas last year when Ryan got the 5,000 strikeout. Something different on the line, but the same two combatants. Ricky very open with his stance. Two strike pitch. Fouled away as Henderson continues to battle. For the fans, the issue of the ball game is no factor right now. The A's three-game winning streak, perilously close to ending, but right now their minds are on what they're seeing here, which many have probably never seen. Here it is again. Breaking ball, a roller to short. Charging is Houston. Oh, he gets him by a step. <laughs> Henderson with a check swing and a clear ball. Houston charging made a fine play and got him with enough to spare. Two out, bottom of the ninth. No runs, no hits for the A's. Five runs, nine hits for the Rangers. It's 9.55. First pitch, outside, a fastball way outside that got away from the backhand effort of John Russell. Nearly nine years ago, Ryan put his fifth no-hitter into the books. Mark McGuire is in the on-deck circle to hit for Jennings if Randolph gets aboard. Some of them chanting, no one, no one. Here's the lineup. One and oh. Low and outside, ball two. Same place, not quite as wide. So Randolph now is ahead in the count. Willie's drive to left center in the fourth, the deepest hit ball tonight for the Athletics. Six. Another notch of Nolan Ryan baseball history.
history to the directed books. He's on the shoulders of his teammates. Being carried from the field, thus to the ovation. Still being carried by the Rangers on one of those rare high moments that baseball fans are granted. We've been a witness to it here tonight at the Oakland Coliseum. None of the fans heading for the exits. They're just standing, thinking, looking down into the dugout where Ryan is still surrounded by his teammates. They're calling for him, I believe. A lot of staccato clapping. Of course, he's still in the dugout right now as he's being surrounded by his mates, security people keeping others and media at a little bit of distance. the story here tonight, the final score, as the A's are the victims of Nolan Ryan's six no-hitter. Rangers five, athletics nothing, we'll be back with the final totals in one minute. The Oakland A's are happy to announce a new attraction to the Oakland Coliseum.